Hi, Pete Calandra here. This is a companion video for the audio MIDI classes I teach at the Copeland School of Music in New York City. I compose mostly orchestral music in Pro Tools. I know that's a rarity, but for me it works. There are a few features in other DAWs that I wish Pro Tools had. Track folders would be the main one. It's a great way to organize and quickly navigate large sessions. That being said, one of the best things about working today is that all the major DAWs are so full-featured that there are often ways to get around some of the limitations they may seem to have. I use memory locations in Pro Tools to manage large writing sessions. Let's take a quick listen to this track I'm currently working on. Adding up all the instrument, VCA, and AUGS tracks, there are almost 80 tracks in this session. At the current track size, it's almost impossible to read the names of the tracks. A quick tip before I set up memory locations. I make sure that the track numbers are visible, and I also make sure that the track list is open. It's easier to read the names of the tracks there. If I want Albion 3, low strings short, I can see that it's track 57, and I know that's over here. Alternatively, I can also highlight a track in the tracks list, and that track becomes highlighted in the edit page. I could also just make the tracks larger using the key command, control, option, up arrow. That makes it easier to read, but then you'll be faced with having to scroll quite a bit to navigate. The way I like best is to use memory locations to help me. Using Command-5 on the numeric keypad brings up the memory locations window. Notice I have two groups here. Locations on the timeline to mark the different sections of the song and groups of instruments. Let's say I would like to see just the low winds. Hitting on the numeric keypad, decimal point, 102 decimal point, and I get a screen that has just the low winds and zoomed in at a height that is easy to see. If I want to get back to seeing all tracks, decimal point, 100 decimal point. In this session, I have 11 different locations set up this way to help me navigate the track. Let's see how we can do this. First, select a group of tracks that you'd like to see. I'll do all brass for this example by clicking on the top brass track, holding down the shift key, and then clicking on the bottom one. Next, I'll go to the tracks list pop-up and select show only the selected tracks. Once that's done, I'll adjust the track size and zoom level to my liking. Once I get that set up, I simply hit the Enter key and create a new memory location. I'll number this one 111 and title it All Brass. Then make sure there are no time properties and the general properties are set up to zoom settings, track visibility, and track heights. Click OK and this new screen gets added to your session. Back to all tracks and now back to all brass. Just like that. One tip is to make sure that the memory locations are in the same order as the tracks. So here I have all, high winds, low winds, high brass, low brass, percussion, and strings, which is pretty much how I have 
my session setup. There are a few out of order here as they were added later on after the session started. That's okay, because having this makes working on large MIDI sessions much easier for me. If you've got any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. If you like this, give a thumbs up, and if you want more content, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.